When getting started with your new Intuos tablet, it's best to play and explore. The default settings for the buttons on the tablet, called Express Keys, are all modifiers. Modifiers are keys on your keyboard that you'd normally use to alter or modify the behavior of tools or other keys. These are very useful as is, but if you choose to change them to fit the way you like to create, you can do so by opening the Wacom Tablet Properties. The tablet preferences are most quickly accessed by selecting Pen and Button settings in the Wacom Desktop Center, which should be running in the background unless you've turned it off. You can also get to these settings by selecting Wacom Tablet Properties from the Control Panel in Windows, or selecting Wacom Tablet from System Preferences from the Apple menu on a Mac. To change the way these buttons behave for all applications, leave All selected in the Application list at the top of the window and change any settings. This new change will define how the tablet works for all programs. You can also modify settings for your favorite programs. To change them for a specific application, Click the plus to the right of the application list, then either browse to the application you want to customize, or if the application is open in the background, just select it from the list of running applications and click OK. I encourage people think about those keyboard shortcuts they use all the time and consider starting with these, once again, assuming the modifiers don't work for you. Increasing and decreasing your brush size makes for a great example of how you might set up adjacent buttons. To do this, select the Tablet tab, then select Keystroke from a Buttons menu. Then, as long as the cursor is blinking in the Keys box, type the key used exactly as if you were using it in the program. For a bigger brush, use the right bracket key. Once you're done defining the shortcut, you have to click in the Name field to select it, as it will record a tab if you try to tab to the next field. Once in the Name field, type Larger Brush. Click OK. Then do the same to define the next button. Using the same process, select Keystroke to define the keys, and this time use the left bracket key. Click in the Name field and type Smaller Brush. Click OK. Most of the functions available in the menu are pretty self-explanatory, but there are a few that I think deserve extra attention. Specifically, Display Toggle for when you have more than one display, and On-Screen Controls which lets you build custom menus that you can then select from on screen. Display toggle will only show up as an option when you have an additional display attached. This is common for laptops when you're at a desk at home. Remember that by default, the tablet maps to the corresponding corner of your overall display area, which frequently means that the pointer will have to travel twice as far from going left and right, then up and down to cover the entire display. To help get some precision back to the pen, set one of the express keys to display toggle. And when you press it, the tablet will temporarily remap to one display. Press it again, and it will map to the second display. Then once more, and you're back to full desktop. This is invaluable if you have a small tablet and two or more displays. On-screen controls could be a series of classes all on their own. These controls are really only limited by your own imagination. The best way to think of them is as virtual express keys that you create for use on screen rather than on your tablet. Where your tablet only has four, you can build nearly limitless panels with up to eight buttons on each. These buttons can even bring up other on screen controls. For instance, you can invoke and dismiss on screen panels by assigning them to an express key or an on screen button. Obviously, these controls were designed to give you as much access as you would ever need to provide as many controls as would help. A simple example of a useful on-screen control might be to create a radial menu that had all of the options of the edit menu from within an application. I will use shortcuts that most applications will recognize. Undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, select all, deselect, usually the escape key, and delete. In the control panel, select the on-screen controls tab. Then, Tap the plus button below Panels. Name this panel Edit. Select the radial menu icon from the layout options. And be sure to select Display at Cursor. Click OK. Display at Cursor means that wherever your pointer is on screen, it will place the center of the radial menu at that point. The little icon next to each drop down menu shows the slice of the radial menu you're editing. All of the commands we're adding are keystrokes. So, the process is the same for each. 
From the top menu, select Keystroke. Define the keystroke by pressing the buttons as if you were using them to edit in a program, undo equals command or control Z. Tap in the name field and type undo. Remember, you can't tab as it will record it in the define field. You can use the delete button to delete the last entry or clear just to start over. When it's correct, tap OK. The same process applies to all the rest. Select keystroke, define the keys exactly as if you were in the program, tap in the name field and give the shortcut a name, and then click OK. The keystrokes will appear beside the key assignment in the list. Once I'm done building the radial menu, I can assign it to any express key I want by selecting the tablet tab, selecting on-screen control from the drop-down for whichever express key I want, and choosing my new edit radial menu. Now I can press the express key and see my new radial menu in action. There really is no bottom limit to on-screen controls. I suggest you build your own when you're ready and see what you come up with for how you want to work and play. If you invest in creating settings that you want to keep, you can back up and restore your settings either locally or to the new Wacom Cloud through Wacom's Desktop Center. Assuming the Desktop Center is not already running in the background, it can be found in the Applications Wacom Tablet folder on a Mac or as one of the apps in Windows. Explore your Express Keys and other controls whenever you're ready, and most importantly, enjoy your new Intuos.